Hello everyone, my name is Ron Collins. I'm the owner of Blue Lacy SEO in El Paso, Texas. And today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful video gallery like the one that you see here where you can put all your videos and play them on your website. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what you're going to need to create a video gallery on your website. You'll first need a Word, WordPress website, the Elementor page builder, the free or the paid version, and the ultimate add-ons for Elementor. So let me look at this third thing about the ultimate add-ons. This is the web page for the ultimate add-ons for Elementor. And this is a, uh, a paid a widget. And in here it has the uh, how you make the video gallery. So let's look at the pricing. And they have an annual and they have a lifetime. So the, the cheapest one is right now is $55. Uh, but you get 40 plus elementary widgets. You get all these things here. And then you have a mini agency bundle. And then they, they have these different bundles. Now, I got this Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor uh, when I bought the Astra theme. Let's look at the pricing. Uh, the annual one for Astra Pro, but it doesn't come with that. You have to get the mini, mini agency bundle or the agency bundle. And it comes with the ultimate add-ons for Elementor. And you get all the uh, the templates for the mini agency and the agency. And these are the costs for um, annual and lifetime. So you just have to make a decision. If you want, want the ultimate add-ons for Elementor, you can buy it standalone or you can get it with... Uh, the Astra themes. So I have loaded uh, up a page on a, a demo site that I use to try out things. And I created a page called a video gallery. So I'm going to go ahead and add the widget. I'm going to do a search in here for video. And the one that we want is this video gallery. I'm just going to drag it over here. And it already has uh, some six video placeholders here in a grid. And I'll show you how you can start do using this. Um, the first video, I'm going to click on over here. And they have, uh, you can put YouTube videos, Vimeo, or Wistisa videos. And I'm going to be using the, the YouTube videos, of course. And this is where you put in the link to the video. And there's a note, make sure you add the actual URL of the video and not the share video, and not the share URL. So I'm going to go and get... Uh, a link to uh, one of my videos. So I'm going to paste that link in here. And then that's going to show up. What's, what's going to be really neat is that you're going to be able to play this video. Your visitor is going to be able to play this video right on your website. And when you click on this, let me uh, close that. When you click on this, this is going to go to a nice big screen. It's not going to take you to YouTube. So you can, somebody can play your video right on your website and have all the controls here like YouTube does to, to pause, to have the, uh, the volume. And uh, you can scroll through the different videos. These other ones are placeholders. And then we click the X and we go back to it. 
All right, let's look at some of the other features here. You can have a caption on here. This will be uh, this title will be visible on hover. Uh, I'm not going to have any captions because I have a thumbnail that already shows what the name of the video is. And then you can set up categories. Like these are set up uh, as YouTube, uh, Vimeo, and Wistiza. And you can set up any categories that you want. Now, these categories are not appearing yet. And I'll show you how to do that in, a, in, in just a minute. And then if you have a thumbnail that you want to put on here, you can have different quality here. And if you do have a custom thumbnail, you have to turn that on and then load up your custom thumbnail. So I'm not going to be doing that. So that's my first one. And you do the same thing for all the other ones. So let's, um, let's look at the next area, the general. Now the layout is set on grid, but you can set it to carousel so that you can move through the videos horizontally. I like the grid, so I'm going to change that back to grid. You can choose the number of columns that you have. It's set on three as default, but you can have four if you want. But I like the three, so I'm going to change that back. The aspect ratio is 16 by 9 is the default. You can change it 4, 3, or 3, 2 if you want. Click the action that plays in the light box, or it will play in line. And the ordering is the default ordering uh, that you place in here, or it can be changed to random. So there's a lots of choices you can make here. All right, then we get the filterable, filterable tabs. So this is set to uh, not be on. So when I turn that on, now we get the three choices up here. And then you can change those. Um, there's also default tab on page load. These are all turned off. Title for filterable ta uh, tab, and then responsive support. Now, when we go to style, we can change the spacing uh, between the videos. You can change the rows gap. So there's lots of choices you can make here. Then we have filterable tabs on the style part. Let's say I want some padding here at the top. I'll give it like 25 pixels. Spacing between tabs. You can see that change up here. Uh, tabs bottom spacing. So if you want some spacing at the bottom, you can change that. And then you have normal text color. And background color, you can set. And then hover, you can change that. Now, this is the global settings uh, that you can do. So, once I've clicked a, uh, a color here, now we have the all button over here. If you want to just see YouTube videos, it'll just show that. Or whatever category that you choose. Vimeo. Or with Stisa, this is the default setup, and you can change all that. If you want a background uh, active hover color, uh, you can you can set that. Let's say uh, now you're gonna have to, to play around with this. And, uh, and change whatever color that you want in the background. Or if you don't want one, you don't have to have one. So, um, the play button. Let's get to the play button. 
Now, this is the default play button, but you don't have to, to run with this. I think it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to go to the icon library and put um, play, and then we have some choices here. So I kind of like this one, so I'm going to insert that. And once you make a choice, it's going to change them for all the videos that you have. And you can't change them individually. So, but you do want to have some consistency uh, on your um, on your videos. The size you can change that to small, large, whatever you want. Uh, you can change the color. You know, you want you can change it to anything that you want. Uh, you can have an icon shadow. You can have a hover. So it changes on hover. So there's lots of choices you can do here. And on content, and under style, we have an overlay color if you want. Overlay hover color. Uh, we can show the caption if we want that we set up. Uh, I'm not going to show a caption. The category can show up on hover if you enable that. So there's lots of choices here on setup for this. So let's go back to the one that I uh, created for my website. And I set it up like this with this blue on here. So if I just want to see all the videos on web design, I can click that. Or if I just want to see all the ones on SEO, I can click that one or click all button. And then when you click on this, just like I showed you before, it'll go to a bigger screen and then you can oh. start playing this. So if you want to showcase some videos that you have and created uh, on Vimeo or YouTube or with Stisa, uh, you can set these up in a video gallery on a page on your website. So uh, I hope you got something out of this and I'll see you next time.